Why do Vitruvian bones in Moho break so easily? My first test was a disaster. Arms vanishing, bending the wrong way. But here's how I finally fixed them. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step workflow I use to make Vitruvian bones switch poses smoothly so your rigs finally behave. Now, you might be wondering if Vitruvian bones can swap drawings, what makes them different from switch layers? The answer completely changes how you think about rigging. Vitruvian bones let you switch between different poses in one rig. It sounds a bit tricky, but once you see it, you will get it right away. This is the character I created and we will be using Vitruvian bones on its arm. I have drawn three different versions of the arm. This is the fist. The claw. Three claw. First we need to add bones to all the arms. Now I will select the bones of these arms and lower their bone strength. Now I will select the first arm layer. Select the bones for the layer. And we click on link bones. Now I will repeat this process for this arm. For this arm, I will select the first two bones only and bind them with link bones. And for the remaining two bones, I will use bind points.
Now I'll select the other bone. And click bind point. For Vitruvian bones to work properly, it is required that we use link bones to bind the first bone for every pose. Now I'll select the first bone from each arm. We click on the Vitruvian bones icon. Make sure all the three bones are highlighted. On the top we have group. If we want to remove the three arms, then we can click on ungroup. And next to that we have active bone. By changing the active bone, we can change the different poses. And we have a keyboard shortcut also. We can use Alt and C to change the arm poses. Now let's check the arms. While animating the arms, if there is distortion, then we can fix that with smart bones using smart actions. Here's the truth, even if you set up Virtuvian bones perfectly, you can still struggle with Moho's bone tools. And I know because I did for years, but then I found out what was really causing the problem. And once I fixed it, rigging finally made sense. If you have ever fought with bone binding or weird bone behavior, this is the one you don't want to miss.